Hey, welcome to Church Experience. Thank you so much for spending part of your weekend with us. Now's a great time to grab your pens and weeklies and head to your seats if you haven't already, because the service starts in 90 seconds. so happy to see you today. I'm looking forward to today's impacting service. During this service, you may have some questions or comments or prayer requests. If you do, go to churchexperience.tv backslash connect or pull out your camera app and scan the QR code to connect with this or you could even hit that subscribe button if you, you want to know what's going on here at Church Experience. We're always glad to hear from you, to get back to you, and to be praying for you. Guess what time it is? It's time to spend time worshiping God through songs. Let's jump in, participate, and let God speak to us during this time. You are the wind and king. But with God there will no stay. Your hidden glory and creation. There is in you a Christ. What a beautiful name it is. What a beautiful name it is. The name of Jesus Christ, my King. What a beautiful name it is. Nothing compares to this. What a beautiful name it is. The name of Jesus. I didn't want heaven without us. So Jesus, you brought heaven down. My sin was great, your love was great.
rest on each side we will not lose sight of the one who's greater one name one name holds every victory one voice that silences the Father, Lord, we just thank you. We can't give you enough praise, Lord. We thank you for your sacrifice, everything that you have done for us, Father. We thank you for your protection, for your love, God, for your peace, your peace so that we do not fear that anything we're walking through, Lord, we know that you're right there next to us. You are walking in it with us. Lord, we just thank you. 
you give us that victory. Father, we love you. And we just pray that we hear your voice today. And it's in your mighty name, Jesus, we pray. Amen. Let's give God a, another big hand clap of praise. <laughs> I was like, am I talking low? I, I can't hear myself. I can't hear myself. <laughs> okay. If you have your Bibles, let's go to Daniel chapter 2. Daniel chapter 2. I feel like preaching on today. I feel like preaching and teaching a little bit, so that's the combination. I feel like preaching on today. If you're glad to be in the house of the Lord, just shout amen. Amen. Daniel chapter 2, we're going to kick off reading at verse 19. Daniel chapter 2, verse 19. And it reads, The secret was revealed to Daniel in a night vision. So Daniel, bless God of heaven, Daniel answered and said, Blessed be the name of God forever, for wisdom and might are his. And he changes the times and the seasons. He removes kings and raises up kings. He gives wisdom to the wise and knowledge to those uh, who have understanding. He reveals deep secret things. He reveals deep secret things. He knows what is in the darkness and light dwells in him. Next verse says, I thank you and praise you, O God of my fathers, you have given me wisdom and might and have now made known to me what we asked of you. For you have made known to us the king's demand. The title of today's message is The Season is changing. The season is changing. Just look at a neighbor or two and say the season is changing. Come on, you looked at the wrong neighbor. Come on, look at look at them like you're excited. Come on here. The season is changing. I don't know what you've been through. I don't know what you uh, what challenges you've had faced recently, but I come with a word from the Lord to tell you that the, the, that the suffering of this present time isn't worthy to be compared with the glory that's about to be uh, revealed in you. If you believe that, give God a, a hand clap of praise right there. Come on, church experience. Let's give God a hand clap of praise right there. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. I'm so excited about this passage right here. Daniel is known for his integrity. Daniel is known for his faith. The mo one of the most famous passage, uh, passages that, that Daniel is known for is how he responded in the, the, the lion's den. We all are familiar, um, pretty much familiar with that passage. I love stories 
of people who are underdogs. I love stories of people who are, are overcomers. Uh, over the last couple of weeks, I've been um, um, sharing stories of people who are, had challenging circumstances and defied all odds. Daniel, in this passage, shifted from being captive to captain overnight from obeying the instructions of the Lord. Come on, just look at your, point to yourself and say, I must obey the instructions instructions come on you didn't get excited about that that's how you're going to see your season change the word of God says seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and everything else shall be added he asks for instructions this is a second word, second time I use this word over the past weeks. It said the word is help. We must ask the Lord for his direction. We must ask the Lord for his guidance. Point number one, secrets will be released to the seekers. Strategies wisdom, revelation, counsel will be released to the, the seeker, to the seekers. It says, then the secret, verse 19 says, then the secret was revealed to Daniel in not a day vision, but it was revealed in a night vision. Night vision. It's kind of wrecked me. Daniel is known for his posture of prayer. When he prayed, it didn't come in the daytime. It came in the night vision. Everybody shout night vision. Sometimes, <laughs> in order to see our new season change, we must do two things. We must pray, and we must be patient. We must pray, and we must be patient. Why? Pr uh, having a strong prayer life is important prayer in this season has to become our best friends we shouldn't just have a prayer life that is crisis centered we not just Lord bring me out of stuff. Lord help me with this. Lord bring me out of danger. No, Lord help pay this bill. No, no. we need a prayer life. Everybody say prayer life. That means uh, I, I'm going to seek God uh, for instructions uh, about my daily life. I'm going to constantly commune uh, with God uh, throughout the day. I'm going to say, Lord, uh, thank you for the things that you've done. Uh, thank you for the, the job that you have me on. Thank you for the ways that you, you've made. What should I do uh, in this situation? How should I handle this situation? And be willing to listen as well. Some of us got big mouths, <laughs> but real, our ears don't like to work well. <laughs> we love to throw around a, a wish list, <laughs> but when God gives the instructions, do you have a posture to receive? So prayer life, we must be prayerful, and we must be patient. Woo. Teach me how to wait on you, God. We wait for you to. I almost ran around the whole. Y'all give it up for our worship team. I wish I could sing as good as them. <laughs> I said, y'all already preaching my message. Y'all get out my message. Glory to God. I said, we wait for you to 
come and show us your glory here today. How many of y'all heard them say that? Many times we don't like waiting for God to show up. We are living in a, a microwave generation. We want things quick, fast, and in a hurry. Y'all know I'm from Mississippi. I love, I love Southern cooking. Anybody love Southern cooking? Okay, anybody love soul food? I'm talking about collard greens, candy yams, smothered chicken, um, smothered, okay, all right. I'm making, I'm making some of y'all hungry. Some of y'all want lunch already. <laughs> but some things aren't, can't be made in the microwave. Some things are, 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 have to be made in the crock pot. Some things have to marinate. Some things take time. And God says, what I have in store for you, you got to wait on me. You can't move before time. I know what you're in is tough. I know you are facing some dilemmas. I know you are desperate for some answers. But wait on me. Daniel said, hold on one second before I talk to the king. Let me pray about this. He saw God move before, but he just didn't respond to this blurt out anything. He waited until he got clear instructions. He was patient. He was patient. He was patient. Lord, teach us how to wait on you. Teach us uh, how to uh, teach us how to be patient. In James one and two, it says, "Count it all joy, my brethren, uh, when you fall into various trials, knowing this that the testing uh, of your faith produces what patience. But let patience have its perfect work." that you may be perfect and complete and lacking nothing. Teach me how to be patient, God. Sometimes we want things when we want it, how we want it, and then if it doesn't happen in our timetable, we just get mad and we stop praying. We stop being diligent. But Daniel wasn't that way. He stayed in the posture of prayer. This is not the season to give up on God. This is not the season to throw in the towel. This is not the season to stop serving. This is the season, hallelujah, to wait on God. He prayed. He was, he was patient. Isaiah 40 and 31 says, They that wait upon the Lord, he will renew their strength, and they shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary, and they shall walk and not faint. Everybody say, wait. 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 Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> when you think about that, I think about the word wait, I think about a server. I think about a waitress. I think about a waiter. When a waiter gives good service at a restaurant, what happens what are we supposed to do, most of us? What are we supposed to do once we receive good service uh, from a waiter? What happens? Come on, y'all scream that out. What happens? What, what do we do? We give tips. As we serve, as we are waiting on the Lord, as we are serving, that's what that means, God will give us tips. God will give us strategies as we wait. You will mount up. Come on here. He'll give you tips. <laughs> He'll give you instructions. He'll tell you what to do. He'll tell you who to do, do it with as you, as you serve. It's important to wait. Habakkuk 2 and 3 says, The vision, 
is for an, uh, an appointed time. It says, I'm paraphrasing, paraphrasing, at the end of that vision, it shall speak and not lie. Many times we don't like waiting for <laughs> the appointed time. We like to speak for the vision and not let the vision speak for us. We must be patient. Everybody say, be patient. <laughs> Never make a, a permanent decision off a temporary situation. You better wait on God. Better get clear instructions. Better get clear instructions from God. Because if Daniel would have spoke out of turn, his life was at stake. The king said, what can get be done to the person who interprets these dreams? He said, resources uh, was, were going to be uh, released to the person that could interpret the dream. What, in that time, what also happened to the person who couldn't interpret the dream? Woo! Their life was on the line. So Daniel was desperate. God's going to give you strategies to solve King's dilemma. Y'all, go, God's going to give strategies uh, to give you strategy to, to, strategies to solve decision makers' dilemmas. It says Daniel was the type of person that he was more competent. Than any other man at that time. It says earlier in, in chapter 2 that magicians and astrologers couldn't even interpret the dream. His gift made room for him. His prayer life made, made room for him and brought him before great people hallelujah and I believe hallelujah as we worship strategies and revelation are going to be released if you believe that shout amen, amen. you're going to be able to solve a dilemma some of us are, are tired of the place that we're in you see problems all around you if you see a problem around you put your hand in the air you see problems all around you in your community. God will give you strategies as you pray. That's how you, you will see your situation change as you pray and as you're patient. God gave Daniel the download. And the next thing <laughs> that Daniel did is exciting. He just wasn't silent about it once he got the interpretation. He wasn't just quiet and reserved and cool once he got the strategy. And it says he praised. He praised God. It says he barocked the Lord. He said he kneeled before God. God and he blessed the Lord and in times like this when God hallelujah has as much as God has done for us we can't afford not to praise God how many know God is worthy to be praised Y'all got a little too quiet on there I said how many know God is worthy to be praised hallelujah Bible says, let everything, come on, you helping me preach in here, y'all, that's the type of, talk, that's what I'm talking about, let everything that has breath to praise the Lord, come on here, as long as you got a pulse, you should have a praise, hallelujah, you should keep a, a praise on your lips, he woke you up this morning, you got a good portion of your health and strength, your family members are doing fine hallelujah and even if he doesn't do another thing else for you he's still worthy of praise he's he's 
He's worthy of praise. Daniel didn't have amnesia. Daniel didn't forget what the Lord has done. And that's a lesson right there. We cannot forget. <laughs> praise will break chains. Woo! I'm almost reminded uh, uh, of Paul and Silas uh, when they prayed uh, and when they praised uh, how doors, the prison doors uh, began to come open. Uh, I'm reminded, hallelujah, hallelujah, how David uh, danced before the Lord, hallelujah, when he was facing, hallelujah, Ziglag, hallelujah, and how as he prays, hallelujah, the chains begin to break. Pray. Are there any praisers in the room? Woo. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I, I, I need to be around some, uh, some radical uh, praisers in the room. Hallelujah. Can you praise God, give God more praise than the request that you made? I'll say that one more time. Sometimes we bombard heaven with a whole spiritual list. And when he does those things, quiet, minimal praise. But once God, come on here, a praise should continually be in our mouth. We should bless the Lord at all times. If you believe that, shout amen. amen. Hallelujah. 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 I'm so glad God chose us. I'm so glad God doesn't choose like man. Anybody glad about that? <laughs> He'll use the foolish things uh, to, uh, the foolish things of this world to confound the, 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 the wise. He, he, he doesn't choose uh, like uh, man. Who? But he chose you. If I say he chose me. <laughs> despite, <laughs> despite the mistakes you've made, despite struggles, he loved you and he chose you and he still wants to use you. Your season is getting ready to change. The enemy has tried to lie to you and say you're going to stay in this prison. You're going to stay in this rut. You're going to stay in this hard place. But as you surrender your life to God, it's about to change. Hallelujah. It's about to change. If you believe that, give God glory right there. <laughs> Sis, he prayed so hard. <laughs> he gave glory to God. He said stuff like, he said, He says he removes kings <laughs> and raises them up. God can use you. <laughs> there are people that might be ahead of you now, but your prayer life is the advantage. <laughs> the magicians can solve the problems. The intellectuals of that time could not solve the problem, but he chose Daniel. <laughs> his prayer life, his prayer, his praise, his patience made room for him. That's the same thing that's going to happen for us. Clap your hands and give God glory right there. So glad. I'm so glad he chooses us. It's by no goodness of our own. Worship team can be making ready. 
It's by no goodness of our own. <laughs> God's going to get put you in positions you don't even deserve necessarily. You don't even necessarily qualify for. <laughs> Why? Because you had the right heart. Man looks at the outward appearance. But God looks at the heart posture. Woo! Your season is changing. Come on, lift your hands right there. Your season is changing. What have you been praying for? God's going to give you a strategy to solve a dilemma. <laughs> Some of you want to quit your job. Some of you guys want to give up on some situations. God's going to give you some insight for it. It might not happen in the daytime. Wait on God. Now, if God tell you to quit, you do it then. But <laughs> wait for the instruction. Do not move. We wait for you to come. I thought y'all were going to help me. <laughs> wait on God. <laughs> Strength is being renewed even now. Some of you are tired. When is my season change? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's all right. He went to, from, captive, from captive to captain just like that. How was God going to do it? Let him figure that out. <laughs> God, how, are you gonna, how is elevation going to take place for me? I speak to you even now. Your resume is about to come to the top. Some of you guys are believing God for some new opportunities. Your resume is going to come to the top. I say your, I say your resume is going to come to the top. There might be some more people that are more polished, that are more eloquent, <laughs> have a more distinguished background. God's going to use you. Whew. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's clap our hands that God is changing our season. And when he does it, let's not forget to give him praise for it. <laughs> Sometimes when we get a little money, we start acting funny. The pastor really did. Yeah, I said that. Yeah. <laughs> Don't get bougie when God start blessing. <laughs> Don't get unapproachable when God start blessing. <laughs> wow. But praise God. Give Him glory. Hallelujah. Before our usher team comes forward to receive our tithes and offerings and response cards. Hold up. Wait a minute. Don't even think about leaving your seat. I have so many exciting and important things to tell you about. First, I've learned over the years the importance of being connected with my CE family. My husband and I actually met some of our best friends while going to first class. If you never attended this class, this is your opportunity. I love how you get to meet others, personally grow, and learn more about church experience. If you are thinking that there is no way you are gonna miss out on this on May 21st, then go ahead and write first class on your response card. I hope this class impacts your life as it has mine. Well, I think our ushers are about to come forward to collect the tithes and offerings. You know, the first time you hear the word tithing, you might wonder what it means like I did. What is tithing? I have learned that it means giving God a tenth of whatever God has given us financially and giving it back to Him. You might be wondering why? Well, God uses those tithes to push His work forward in this community, our country, and around the world. I think it's special that when I tithe, it's a way that God knows he is first in my life and finances. I love that it's easy to give at CE, whether you prefer the offering buckets as they pass by or giving through our app or website. 
setting up for a reoccurring giving is easy too. It's so awesome that God is using all of us together to see lives transformed every week. The best is yet to come. Thank you for being on mission with us to help more people experience a full life in Jesus Christ. It's been an amazing day with you at CE. You may have made a commitment during the service and we'd love to have you reach out and tell us about it by scanning the QR code. If you have any questions or comments or prayer requests, you can scan that same code or go to churchexperience.tv backslash connect. Hope to hear from you soon. If you haven't, check out our Church Experience social media on Instagram or Facebook. Check out our website or the app and make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I've loved our time together, and we can't wait to see you next week.